Hello there, it's Samuel Larson here and in today's video we are going to install a survey tool into our website or e-commerce store. So I'm going to walk you through the process exactly how to set up the tool and uh, it's actually a pretty easy thing to do and you can do it uh, after this or just follow the steps and uh, you can have a survey tool on your website as well. Now, this will help you understand your customers. You can ask different things such as like, uh, what would they like to see or why aren't they actually like completing the purchases? So it can be a very useful thing to understand your clients. I'm using it on this case on a little bit of a different purpose, but uh, it still works the same. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly how to do it. All right, for this, I'm going to use Hotjar myself. You need some kind of a tool that uh, will basically pop up this uh, survey to the site. Now, I like Hotjar because it's free for quite a long time and uh, you don't have to invest into it if you don't like have a lot of traffic. There's other surveys like SurveyMonkey and uh, similar tools too. So if you like them, they're uh, pretty similar to set up. But I like this one because uh, you can actually have it for free. If you have a, a personal plan, you can use personal plan on your business site as well. So basically you get 2000 page views per day and that will be very much enough to gather your data. So all you need to do an account is to create an account and I've already done that. So I'm just going to sign into my account here. And uh, once you do, it will look like this. Okay, so now here on the admin panel, you have polls and surveys and we are going to use that very soon. But um, for you to actually have this on your site, you need to first install the pixel. And the way you install the pixel is just click here and add new site. So let's say this would be like a test site. So I will use google.com and uh, I'll put myself as the site owner. And uh, you need to add this HTTP uh, like this. All right, so here we have a, we have our tracking code. So all you need to do is uh, copy this to clipboard and then you can use their step-by-step -step installation guide. So I'm just going to open it up. Here uh, are different options already. You can use manual installation, Google Tag Manager, WordPress, PrestaShop, but um, for Shopify, for example, you will just uh, use this one and follow these steps. So, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So we go on our Shopify back end online store themes and we select the theme that uh, we want to edit. So usually it would be the main theme. So you just click here and add it to your live theme. But uh, we have a theme that we're about to go live on. So I'm just going to click here edit HTML and CSS, and then just follow the guide. So you need to find your theme.liquid. So it's always here in the first, and then uh, you need to find the beginning of uh, your head. Notice that it has this little mark here, so we can just search it. And here we have it, okay? And just follow it and uh, paste the hot chart tracking code just before this tag. So you would paste it here and it would look exactly like this. So here it is. Then um, you would click save and uh, search for other file. So you would go to the back end of your Shopify admin panel, click on settings and click on checkout. And here we have our additional scripts once we scroll down 
and you will just copy paste it here as well and click save so on this box after you've done that you would load the site again and this way the hotjar installation verified will come to play and you can actually see that it has properly been installed on the page so if you're not getting this or you're getting an error something went wrong and you need to make sure that uh, you got everything installed correctly and you actually copied the code okay now that we've done this we can actually go and uh, do our uh, our poll here so make sure you have uh, this selected whatever the one you made it and then uh, i'm going to make a poll and here i already made it but uh, if you are making your first one you just create new poll and fill out the information here so let me use the one that uh, i already created because it's faster to show so i'm just going to go and edit it here the first question i have is the biggest challenge uh, you are facing right now so so this is how it looks um i have it opening i have it triggered basically when uh, i go halfway through the page so this survey is going to display me different options basing on our choices here. So let's say I want to build a store and that's my biggest challenge. And uh, I agree that I can possibly receive some help. Now it's going to ask me whether a email or phone number is the best way to reach me. So let's say I put the phone number and then it's going to ask me for my phone number. So once I click this, I'm going to get thank you for answering the poll. And this is how it works on the back end side of these things. So I have it marked on showing on desktops and tablets, and it's going to be showing on all pages and it's going to show to all of your customers. So you could specify it to be like product page specific, checkout page specific, and you would just uh, use this simple URL match. So let's say the URL match would be cart, for example, then uh, you would just uh, have this URL contains like, uh, let's say cart, and then uh, this will show up on the cart page. Okay, so pretty self-explanatory, nothing uh, too amazing about it. There's also info bars here, so you know exactly what to do, but I'm going to leave it there. And uh, this is basically consisting of five questions, and this is where I can set up those questions. So the first question is, what is the biggest e-commerce related challenges you are facing right now. So um, once you see your store in incognito, you can actually test this over and over again. So, so we can see how it looks and uh, so on. So the first question is like really this and uh, here we can see an interesting thing. This speech bubble is green, while all of the others are grayish. And this just means that uh, there's going to be a field that opens when I click on this. So respondents can leave a comment when selecting an answer. All right, now, then uh, step number two is basically always the same. So. Is this something you believe we could help you with? And uh, there's two options. Yes, I could potentially use some help on this. And basically second is no. Now here you notice it's green again. And uh, this little button here sets what should happen after this question is answered. So if answer is one, 
then go to next question. If answer is two, then go the thank you message. So very simple if then logic is used here. And uh, basically it's going to show you a, a different one based on your response. Okay. It's going to be the same one here. So we can see that uh, email goes here, phone number goes here. This is uh, an important thing here. You don't want to put this to go to the next question because uh, the next question would be the phone number. So it's just going to go to the thank you message and uh, thank you for answering the poll. And um, that's how it works. That's how you create a simple poll. And we can even customize it a little bit here. So now my background color is white so that uh, it pops off nicely. And uh, it's basically very readable. And um, then behavior is an important one. I like to use this one when user scrolls halfway down the page. So they have already interacted some a little bit and it's not so aggressive. So if you have this immediately after the page loads, there might be a lot of like uh, visual attack for the user. So this way they are at least a little bit interested and they have a chance to get a little bit of buy-in for my offer. And uh, then uh, they will see this poll until they submit a response. So that's it. You would just click save and uh, make sure that uh, it is active. So it's uh, click here on active and uh, you can then go and test it on your own store as well. So here, I'm going to show you how a response would look. So we have got the one response. I'm going to view it. And uh, I can see that a person from the Philippines, that's me currently here, and he used Chrome Windows 10 five minutes ago. He was interested in building a store and uh, wanted to leave his phone number for this. All right. So now. If I wanted to, I can call this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine number and uh, have some fun with that. Okay. But then you can use this for your e commerce specific purposes. And it's a very nice tool to get some information. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope this was very helpful. And uh, good luck getting that uh, extra information that is going to give you an edge over your competitors. And uh, it's a great conversion optimization tool as well. Helps you understand your customers. And the better you do, the better you are able to serve them and the better you will sell. So thank you. Please like and comment and subscribe for more videos.